All right, hello everyone, and welcome to what seems to be a very exciting and absolutely adorable new fan-made Warrior Cats clan generator. I am so excited that somebody told me about this on my Instagram yesterday, because as soon as I saw it, I kind of freaked out. It's adorable. Apparently, you can go ahead and create a clan. I don't know how this randomly generated clan is going to be, but you guys know how much I love random generators and Warrior Cats cats and putting those things together. I think things even happen to your cats while you go ahead and like work with the generator. This is the first time I've ever touched it and I wanted to share the experience with you guys. I am so excited because there are actually pixel cats. The freaking pixel biologist. Of course, I would be so excited about some pixel cats. So let's go ahead, create a new clan and we're going to go see just how everything turns out. Just really quickly, I'll link the info to everything down in some um down in the video description but this is a fan made generator for the warrior cats book series by the authors known as aaron hunter create a new clan by the make new section the clan is saved and can be revisited until you decide to override it with a new one you're free to use the characters and sprites generated in this program as you'd like as long as you don't claim the sprites as your own creations original creator just some cat tumblr.com fan edit made by sable steel there we go friends so let's go ahead we're gonna make a new clan uh as usual <laughs> i usually go with moss clan but i'm gonna try to be a little bit more original with that so let's actually go with uh maybe sun moss because it's also like summer so this is gonna be sun moss clan and we're gonna go ahead and name it and let's see, these 12 cats are your potential clan members. Some of them will be left behind. First, pick a leader to uh, to lead Sun Moss Clan through any difficulties. <gasps> Who is this? Oh my gosh, it's a little kid. Oh, he's got personality too. So he's bossy and he is too young to become a leader. His name is Reed Star. There's Barry Hart. <gasps> she's got spots. She's a playful adult female. She's got blue eyes and tortoiseshell spots all over her body. Oh my goodness, she's so cute. There's oh Rai, a charismatic elder who could lead like Sun Moss Clan. That actually sounds kind of interesting. And then we've got Frost Kid, an attention seeker. Oh, I could have way too much fun building entire just just worlds worth of stories with these guys. There's Sag Speckle, a calm young adult male cat. Fog Speckle, so Speckle, oh my gosh, I wonder what was happening that these two ended up both having the name Speckle. A nervous male elder. There's also Fallen Speckle. There's a lot of Speckles. Maybe like everybody got speckled with paint or something and it just didn't come off for ages. That's, that's my headcanon. So we have Fallen Speckle, who could become Fallen Star. That kind of sounds dramatic, to say the least. And she's actually a very playful elder. Chestnut Stock. That's kind of adorable. A Vengeful. Vengeful? Wait, what are we having revenge for? Female Senior. Uh, then there's a little Sky Kit, a sweet little kitten, and Ivy Kit, a little male kitten who is polite. Then we have Light Paw, a playful female adolescent, and Model Whisker, a sneaky elderly female. So with all of those potential cats uh, in the running, I think who I'm going... I mean, Fallen Star sounds kind of amazing, to be honest. And I, my headcanon is that Fallen Star is actually like a Barry Hart's or mom because they've both got spots and dots all over them. Um, oh gosh, who am I going to pick? You know what? Let's go with Fallen Star, the playful female elder. I was going to go with Berry Star at first, but I kind of want to start with an elder and just see what happens. So we're going to grant this cat nine lives. Second, choose your deputy. This cat will support their leader and take over if things go awry. All right, let's actually make that Berry Heart the playful female elder. Because I think our, our leader was also playful. I don't think the deputy should also be an elder. And a lot of the others are actually kids. Um, or senior adults. Chestnut stock who's vengeful. I'd worry about having a vengeful... Well, I mean, to be honest, that could make a really dramatic clan. But we're going to go with Berry Heart just because I'm kind of like in love with her spots. 
All right, so that cat will support the leader. Third, pick your medicine cat. They will aid the sick and wounded and communicate with Star Clan. I kind of feel like Model Whisker, who is sneaky, would be really good for that. She just, something about her posture and something about her like beautiful silver tabby looks makes me think that she just gets into everybody's business. Uh, the kits of which we have like a ton are too young to be medicine cats. Fog, Speckle, Chestnut, Stalk. I just kind of like the idea of having a sneaky female elder named Model Whisker. So we're going to go with that. And then finally, recruit four to seven more members to your clan. Choose wisely. Okay, so I think we're definitely going to have a couple young ones. So the only younger cat we have who's not a kit is Sedge Speckle. And then there's Chestnut Stock. Let's make Chestnut Stock the recruit. And maybe she has a little bit of sass to her because she was frustrated that she did not become the deputy. And I think we'll make these little kits hers. So one, two, three, four, there's five kits. I don't think it's a good idea to have all the clan be kits. And if you can only recruit like seven more members, let's go with Sedge Speckle and Fog Speckle. Uh, I do love Rifer though. Oh dear, once you like recruit a, a cat, you just cannot do that. If you have more than eight clans, clicking done deletes the <gasps> least recently used clan. Oh my gosh, you can have more than eight clans. I want to have eight clans. So let's see, we have sweet, playful, polite, attention speaker, and bossy for our kits. So let's fill out some kits. I think we're going to go with Sty Sky Kit because she's cute. Um, I like the idea that this male cat, the elderly male cat, is maybe the adult or the father of some of these kits. So we'll go with Frost Kit to match him. And I kind of like the idea of having a bossy little reed kit. And then let's go with maybe Light Paw. There we go. And can I, can I, okay, and that's it. So Rifer and Ivy Kit didn't make it. Oh my gosh. That's okay. That's okay. We're gonna go ahead and create our clan now. The clan has been created and now saved under our very mischievous fallen star. Experience very low. <gasps> we can see family for her. Oh my gosh. And how old she is. She's got a torty pelt with medium fur. Oh, this is so exciting. Okay. And then Fog Speckle is feeling nervous. What is feeling quite lazy? Chestnut Stock thinks they're going crazy. She's extremely smart. So I'm going to pick a mate for her and we're going to make her mate, um, I think Fog Speckle, who tends to be kind of nervous. Maybe she would want the calmer, the calmer younger adult as a mate though. If the cat has chosen a mate, they will stay loyal and not have kittens with anyone else, even if having kittens inside relationship is impossible. Chances of having kittens when possible is heightened though. Well, maybe she won't pick a mate for now. Um, Gosh, okay, so in the medicine cat den, we actually have a couple of the kits and our, our mischievous elder. In the elder's den, we have got Fog Speckle, uh, who is a good hunter, but he, I mean, he's an elder. And now we, we've only got like Barry Hart, who's in the warrior cat's den, is spending a considerable amount of time grooming. This is adorable. She's 77 moons. Her apprentice is Light Paw. That's so cool. Oh, they're moving around every click. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so what are some events? Okay, so check to see what events are currently happening at the clan. All right, the clan has aged one moon, zero moons. So we can do events. Uh, then we can list the cats back to, no, I want to come back over here. All right, so now Barry Hart is visiting with her with her leader oh my gosh they all move around the kits are playing in the nursery and now that some of the kits are over in the elders den the warriors den has got stuff going on so clan star clan gray stripe hello i'm here to guide the dead cats of sun moss clan into star clan a thoughtful elder who was a good teacher that's so cool so he's our star clan member patrol these cats are currently in the camp ready for patrol choose up to six to take on patrol smaller patrols help cats gain experience but larger patrols are safer <gasps> that's so interesting so you can build experience no okay for your little clans allegiances Okay, and then you can see Light Paw is the only, uh, the only apprentice right now. We have no queens. We have an elder. We have the kits. 
<laughs> That's so cute. Read Frost and Sky Kit. We have, I think we might have too many kits. I'm a little bit worried about that. Uh, and then we can go on patrol. So you could do random, but let's actually do our deputy, Berry Heart. And we're going to send her out on patrol with Light Paw. And we're going to send out Sedge Speckle. And let's start a patrol. Your patrol comes upon the scent of a large rat. Okay, so we have a good hunter who's very smart and a great speaker. And then they're they're playful, playful, and calm. <laughs> so both of these two, I don't know if having an apprentice who's playful and you're also pr playful is a good idea. Your patrol's confidence is shaken by missing the rat. Aw, dang it. Okay, so did that actually improve some of their experience? Oh. And because I think, oh, and now we have those guys out on patrol. So experience is low. Okay. And then I think you skip one moon. So Reedpaw has started their apprentice. <gasps> That's so cool. So who who's Reedpaw's apprentice now? Reedpaw. So Sedge Speckle. Oh, fine. So clever, very low experience. Okay, so let's see. Wait, Reedpaw. Uh, oh. That's right, so Sedge Speckle. Okay, good. Pick a mate for some... Oh, you can switch the apprentices to being a a medicine apprentice if you want. Sedge Speckle's having a hard day. Oh, that's so sad. Oh my gosh. All right, Star Clan's still doing Star Clan stuff. Sedge Speckle is now talking with... Uh, well, actually, what's going on over here? Having a hard day. Fog Speckle with Fallen Star. What a name. Is giving Light Paw a task. Oh my gosh. I love seeing them just kind of scooch around. All right. So let's go ahead, have a random patrol. I don't know. We'll just add cats randomly. Light Paw. All right. We'll do a big patrol because I'm kind of worried about stuff. They come upon the scent of a hare. <gasps> they caught the hare. Yay. Okay. So I think that that actually made it. Let's see. Yeah, the clan has aged one moon. Did that make it so they got a little experience? Huh, okay, well I guess we gotta make time pass. What, no deputy, what happened? Fallen Star has passed away 101 moons old? What happened? <laughs> we were just minding our own business. Berry Star has been promoted to, I guess she was old. Maybe that's what did it. Berry Star has been promoted to new leader of the clan. Chestnut Stalk has retired to the Elder's Den. Oh no. Chestnut Stalk sneaks out of the camp with Fog Speckle. Why are my elders sneaking out? Model Whisker talks to Frost Kit about love. Oh dear. All right, let's clarify a few things here, cats. Uh, Fog Speckle is one of the elders and he's very nervous and he actually is like sneaking out of of the camp. I think was that with Sedge Speckle? Is that what's going on? No, Chestnut Stalk, is, who's vengeful, is sneaking out of the camp with Fog Speckle. And then I, I, I'm kind of worried like how many apprentices do I have? <laughs> I have one warrior right now, literally just Sedge Speckle. Okay, we're gonna need to go ahead and we're gonna need to appoint somebody uh, into the apprentice or like into the deputy now. I wonder, like, should it be Chestnut Stock? But like, I think Chestnut Stock legitimately just retired to, yeah, Chestnut Stock retired to the Elder Elder's Den. I don't, yeah, I don't think you can pick them as a deputy. So Sedge Speckle is going to be the only deputy we have. This is getting kind of nerve wracking. Let's go ahead and we're going to add Berry Star. Like, we're just going to have to take the apprentices out. We don't have a very big clan. Send of a fox, do not proceed. We're not going to go chase that fox. Are you kidding me? Like, oh, look, it's Fallen Star. She's watching over a clan ceremony. She just died. Oh my gosh. And then Graystripe has had two moons in death. Okay, well, how are you doing over there, Model Whisker? Model Whisker's just napping all the time in the Medicine Cat Den. This is dramatic. All right, nothing significant has happened in Greenleaf. Thank goodness. Uh, I feel like let's add all the cats to a patrol. Do not proceed the, with the fox. Next. All right, everybody doing okay? I don't know how we're gonna, okay, you know what? I guess we're just gonna have to go ahead and Berry Star and Sedge Speckle are going to have to become mates. Already in a relationship, this pair never had offspring. Wait, what? They're already in a relationship? What? Okay, so mate, Sedge Speckle. See family, 
They have no siblings, no offspring. I, I, I don't think this is going well for our clan, to be honest. Let's send out the only, the, like, literally the leader, the deputy, and the two kids. There's a scent of a fox. Okay, we're not gonna chase that fox. We had to leave the elders and the kids alone. I'm a little worried. Oh, Frostpaw has started their apprenticeship. <gasps> Light Ear has earned their warrior name. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> now we have like one other. Light Ear is like one other warrior here. And we still have Sky Kit. Poor Sky Kit, I think, can't become a warrior or an apprentice just because we don't have enough warriors. <laughs> What am I gonna do? Oh my gosh, we're just gonna send everybody out on a patrol. Lightyear keeps getting distracted trying to play around because they're so playful. Lightyear's playfulness lightens the mood. Okay, so hopefully that helped out the cats. Berry Star is feeling excited. She's a good hunter, but experience is very low. Kind of nervous about that still. Uh, next. So Skypaw has started their apprenticeship. With, with who? Like, Skypaw, who are you? Do we have double apprentice or double mentors right now? With Lightyear? <laughs> Can you imagine being so desperate? So desperate for having enough members in your clan that siblings are literally, like, same litter siblings are literally going ahead and apprenticing with one another. That's Nutter Butters. All right. Let's send out all of our... Let's see, add the patrol... Uh, and we're gonna start a patrol. Berry Star keeps getting distracted trying to play around. The other cats are annoyed by Berry Star's distraction. They expect better out of their, their clan leader here. All right, patrol time. No, Model Whisker has passed away. Sunmaw's clan has no medicine cat. Reedfire has earned their warrior name because we're desperate for any, oh my gosh. <laughs> for anybody, Chestnut Stock. Okay, you're too old to become a warrior cat. Reedfire, oh my gosh. We don't have any medicine cat. What do we do? Okay, I guess Skypaw is just gonna have to, thinks they're going crazy, maybe because she's been having lots of dreams. Do we have any more? Okay, there's Frostpaw. Uh, she's a female, very, very relaxed. She's kind of sneaky. Oh my gosh. I feel like, okay, we're gonna say Skypaw has been having dreams and we're gonna make her the warrior or the medicine cat apprentice. She's gonna need model whisker. You better be talking down from Scar it's like Star Clan right now, because things are getting a little chaotic over here. All right, let's send out another patrol. We're gonna send out a huge patrol. A strange object that smells strongly of two legs. After interacting with the object, Sedge Speckle is nauseous for a couple days. Gosh darn it! All right. Well, nothing significant happens. We could use some kits. I'm beginning to understand that you definitely a rogue. The rogue finally leaves, but not before giving Frostpaw a scar. <gasps> Frostpaw! Frostpaw has a scar now! <laughs> oh my gosh, is Sunmoss Clan gonna make it, you guys? This is getting kind of... Oh! An abandoned kit! We've adopted an abandoned kit! Sedge Speckle found an abandoned... Oh, it's so cute! <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so tiny! And here I was convinced... It was about to be the end times, friends. Ah! The end times of not being able to keep our little clan going. Thank freaking goodness! Oh my gosh, she's so cute. And the rogue actually ended up scratching. Oh my goodness. Uh, was it Lightyear? Or no, it was Frostpaw giving us the scar. Man, that's so cool. I love seeing how these events are just playing out. This is so awesome. All right, let's go for a whole year. Nothing significant has now happened. We're gonna go ahead and have a huge patrol. Light ear is distracted, but this time playfulness lightens the mood. How's Star Clan doing? Model Whisker, really? You couldn't have done a little bit more before you left? And Frostbelt has earned their name! Yay! <laughs> Thank goodness, maybe from that fight, the sneaky warrior with very low experience. I wonder how you can get better experience. All right, let's go ahead. Maybe have a smaller patrol with better experience. A strange object that smells of the two legs. Did that actually help us out? No, I mean, Reed Fire is still like, I don't know about this. All right, and then we'll go to the next one. Oh, Reed Fire found another rogue and Skyface has earned their medicine cat name. What drama we have had already. So Skyface, you look gorgeous. And an empathic, good teacher who is a female. She's organizing her herb stores. Uh, she can't have a mate, but I wonder. Ashkit is very sweet. 
she's gonna need at some point a, a apprentice of her own before we get in the, the terrible situation of not having enough. <laughs> Of not having enough cats, but I, I think so far Sun Moss Clan seems to be uh, seems to be making it. We're just gonna have to see where their story goes from here. But alright, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this. We're gonna see where the story of Sun Moss Clan goes. It's simple, it's fun, but you know what? I I think we've just barely scratched the surface at something where at least we can watch the story just continue to carry on and maybe even find really fun ways that we can display that. So, so, I'm having a good time. I can't wait to see what's going to happen to Sun Moss Clan next time. Getting kind of nervous about everything, Skyface. I really hope that you remembered enough um, from whatever you have happened to learn. Look at our little apprentice to hang it, or like garden the camp entrance. That's our frost belt. Fighting off rogues, garden entrance. We'll have to see how things work out for them next time. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for our little Sun Moss clan and let me know if you have tried this out and if you have had some fun building some clans of your own. If you guys would like to join me on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.